In this video guys, you're spending 40 hours mastering every single version of the 8-tailed beast in Shindo Life. And then at the end of the video, we're going to be putting the two strongest one in a fight to see what is the strongest version of the tailed beast. But before I start this video guys, make sure to subscribe. I am trying to reach 80,000 subscribers before the end of the summer, so subscribing would be very, very appreciated. Alright guys, so we've started a brand new account with Shadow Apollo Sand. And for the elements, of course, the best element in the game earth and we're going to complete customization press play and go to nimbus because i'm pretty sure that's where the gen 1 8 tail spawns so yeah this guy spawns in nimbus 10 percent drop rate first of all of course we are level one so we're gonna have to just do a, like a little bit of grinding just to actually unlock this move right here level 400 plus this mode here so level 400 too so we need to get our bloodlines to level 400 basically oh so yeah i'll catch you guys once we do all right guys and we managed to get to level 297 and our bloodlines on level 400, which you can unlock this move right here. Put it in V, unlock this mode. For the elements, can we afford this yet? I think we need to... Yeah, we need 2700 cheese, so we'll get that later. But of course, the first tail beast that we're going to get is the Gen 1 tail beast, which spawns somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he spawns. It's that scroll over there. Die Gen 1. Okay, spawns in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Alright, and he spawned. Okay, let's just click it again. Thing is, with us being over 300, killing these guys is going to take forever because look how much we barely do any damage to him. And actually, need to. Oh, I forgot to unlock these moves here too. Okay, that's a that's a mistake. But yeah, the killing this guy is so annoying because he's he's just ink move, especially him. And then the Gen 3 one is going to be, I think, my worst nightmare. I can't even move. I'm trying to move. Okay, there we go. Like I'm still stuck in this whirlpool. Like I can't. I'm, I generally can't move for some reason. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I I was stuck there. All right, but we done like. Already a decent amount of damage. I need to switch my moves real quickly. Yeah, that mo this move is going to be so annoying to fight against. He is a 10% drop rate, so we'll probably get him very, very soon, given that it's a five, like 1.5 times the boss drop day. So technically, it is a 15% drop rate now. So we should, be we should be able to get him in like 5 to 10 kills. Give him a look, though. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, he's rested perfect. He's gave us enough time to switch our moves and gain our chi back. He's literally on... Oh, he's a one-tap. He's a one-tap. Okay, this is not looking good. I do not want to die here because that's going to take me so long to get back up. Okay, got three seconds left until my shadow move comes back. Use it. No, okay. No, no, don't die. We, okay, I died. I killed him at the same time. And of course, first time, you're just never going to get it dropped. Give him a look. We're going to have to be here for a pretty long time. So all I'm going to do, guys, now is I'm going to kill him a lot of times until, we, of course, he drops it. And I'll catch you guys once he does. Alright guys, and just like that we managed to get the spirits, and if we go on some abilities, it's right here, okay, and it's going to cost us 1 million, plus we need to be level 500, we're very very close to level 500, but we do need 1 million rare coins, and all I'm going to do guys now, is I'm just going to go to the AFK chamber, and go there for like an hour or two, just so we can actually get the 1 million rare coins, and I'll catch you guys once we do. Alright guys, and just like that we managed to get 1.5 million, which means we'd be able to unlock our sub ability here oh yeah i forgot we need to be level 500 so i'm guess i'm just gonna be doing some missions real quick all right and that is better now so we should be able to unlock it if i'm not mistaken all right there we go finally we're able to unlock it let's see how this actually looks like i'm curious okay i'm guessing it's gonna look very very similar to like just any tailed beast at the start of course because all of them look very very similar at the start but it actually looks really really clean okay we're getting a level straight off the bat let's check the q spec Okay, the Q spec is of us screaming. The Z spec. Okay, the Z spec is just the ink move. Okay, the ink move is so annoying to fight against because once you use it, you literally can't, like, you just can't move. The problem with Nimbus is every single green scroll mission is, like, all the way in the other side of the earth. Like, it's so far away. It takes me so long to get from here to the green scroll mission. It's so far. I'm pretty sure with the Gen 1 Tailed Beast, there's, like, so many modes. I think there's Tool Mode 7 or Mode 8. Yeah, there's literally Tool Mode 8, so... We're going to need a lot of leveling up to get to, yeah, 1,700, which is very, very high. All right, okay, let's test out the moves on these guys after finally arriving. Okay, Q-Spec is the Scream, of course, the infamous Scream. The Z-Spec, okay, yeah, the Z-Spec is really, really good. And then they're paused, so we can just hit them. And then hit them again. I okay, can't never mind, they got they get me in a... Okay, the guys get me in a combo, relax, bro. Okay, hit them with the Scream again. Okay, is that going to kill him? Oh, not yet, how's he not dead yet? 
Oh, whoa, 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 relax, bro. He's, yo, he's comboing us. Okay, is this going to kill him? Yes, it is. Okay. To be honest, so far, it's not too shabby. Anyways, guys, now I'm just going to level it up a little bit just to get it like level 500, 600, just so we can check out more farms because, of course, for one, it's like the weakest one. It gives us the worst like buffs too. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys once it's like level 700, 800. All right, guys, and we are back with the spirit. With uh, I decided just to max it out because it would have been a lot easier for me to max it out and just go through every single mode that way. To be honest, this mode is kind of lackluster. There isn't really anything to it. It's very, very similar to the Gen 1 Kurama that like the previous video I did. It's so, so similar. Like, like every single model is basically the same. Like even this form here, form 99. The only thing that's different is just like the is the Z, Z and Q spec. For some reason, the Z spec doesn't even work. There we go. It's just like a Rasengan, but has like a like a black ink surrounding it. But and then we can go to this. Then we can go to this form here. This form's also really really cool. Like you can tell the design is amazing. Look at this, such a clean design. But the final and last mode is this one. This one is probably the strongest mode because you can like fly and it doesn't really take any stamina once you fly, which is so cool. Like look at this, such a nice mode. And we might as well do a green scroll mission with this just to see how strong it is against just like normal NPCs in the game. Fly over there, we can, especially with this map being so huge, flying in this map without taking salmon is going to be so so good because we can actually get there very very quick compared to just us walking. I don't know why these guys are positioned so far away from, even if even when I'm flying it takes so so long. I don't get why they're so positioned so so far away from like the main base area. Yo, there's a, oh there's a place that we can go inside here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's the Kage Summit. Okay, this is actually so cool. This is where like, Sasuke came in and like crashed out and stuff. That's actually really, really cool. But anyways, let's go back here. Let's shout the key spec. The key spec, yeah, is just three second balls. Don't ask me when like Killer B ever used this because I don't think he did ever. And then the Z spec. The Z spec is probably the best thing because it's actually like it's actually like the tailed beast, which is so so cool. Like the design for it is nice. I can't lie, like this is probably like, the one that looks the most canon compared to the anime. So yeah. Oh, I accidentally used this. Let me just hit it this way because we don't want to kill them with that. Hit them with the key spec again. Yeah, the key spec is really, really good. In like 1v1s and stuff, it's going to be like very, very good. Let me just hit him with some combos. Unfortunate that these modes don't really have an E spec. Very, very annoying, but it doesn't really matter. Now, just let me just finish him off with the Z spec. And there we go. He is dead. But yeah, you can't lie. This design looks amazing. But now, since we did max out the Gen 1 Tailed Beast, we're going to go to the Gen 2 Tailed Beast. Alright guys, so the Gen 2 Tailed Beast is about to spawn. I'm pretty sure it just spawned right now. We have like, I think, is it a 10% chance of getting it? 1 out of 7 in Nimbus. So we're just going to have to keep on hopping servers until we eventually get into a server with the Spirit. So yeah, we're just going to keep on hopping servers and I'll catch you guys once we're in a server with it. Okay, the second uh, server that we joined, we actually get into one with it, which is amazing. All we have to do now is just teleport to it. Alright, there we go. Just teleport. Okay, let's just awaken our mode and... I don't know how much HP this one has. Okay, is that 40 million? I think that's 40 million or 4 million, one of them. Well, let's just hit them with this. Okay, this hitbox is not messed up, which is good because the one that I did for Kurama, it was messed up. And I was barely doing any damage. But, but, oh my god, my HP is so, so low. Let's just flip it like this. Okay, this guy's really, really low, so let's just kill him real quickly. Oh my god, the ink move, man. Alright, okay, let's try that again. Okay, how much HP he's got? Okay, barely got any HP. I think I can kill him here. Oh, never mind. I just insta-killed him. Wow, okay. But that one move. Yeah, that guy was so easy to kill. And this, from the design here, it looks amazing. But I don't know if it's going to look like this once we do unlock the mode, of course. But wow, that was actually fairly, fairly easy. All right, since we have unlocked the second tailed beast, let's actually just go on sub abilities and unlock it. Okay, it's going to cost us 1 million, which is not bad at all. And I'm guessing this is going to be very, very similar to the Gen 1, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, starting off, okay, the aura for it is changed, like, for the cloak, but I think the moves is going to be the same. Yeah, the scream is basically the same. And the Z-Spec, the Z-Spec is very, very, very similar. So the Gen 1 and Gen 2 tail beats are, like, so close to each other in terms of, like, looks and style. And, and until, I think, the last final mode, where we can actually, like, use a Tentacion mode, it's probably going to be the exact same. We're still going to do one Green Skull mission with it, just to see how good it is against bosses, if it's, like, stronger. It might do more damage, we never know, so... Let's just find it. Okay, these guys are very, very close. Finally, we get one of the missions that are closer. I thought they were closer. They're still like miles away. Oh my god. I did all this for to kill three of these guys. Let's just press our Q. Yeah, the scream I think is bigger, but it still hits only like one person at a time, which is unfortunate. Hit him with this too. I'm guessing that doesn't even stun either. That is awful. I think, I think our M1s are better than our moves, which is crazy to say. 
At least let me kill one of them with one of my moves, man. Okay, hit them with this too. Okay, there we go. We've at least eliminated one. Scream's not gonna kill anymore. Nope. Okay, this surely is gonna kill one. There we go. And then this guy is very, very low. Then with this. Okay, okay, we used the ink move and I just didn't even register. Okay. Hit him with this. Is this gonna kill? There we go. Finally. Finally killed. But let's check one's our last mode. Okay, I think it might be the same as the other one. We have like eight modes. So I guess we're gonna have to get back to leveling up because realistically the only good mode is the Fantasia mode, which is like the final mode. So I think we're gonna have to get this to level 1800. And yeah, I'll catch you guys once we do. Alright guys, so we have maxed it out. So if you just press on form one, we're just gonna go through every single form. All of these are very, very similar, as I said, to the Gen 1. It's just that instead of just, um, it's just that there's blue aura. And then, okay, form 5. Form 5 looks so, so cool, I can't lie. It's just like, it's amazing. Like, uh, the color of it is so, so nice. And then form 6, that's like the form 99. Very, very similar to the other form. If we press the Q spec, I don't know why for the Q spec, it's always the same one. It's just a scream. And then for the Z spec, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be the Rasen gun. It, literally identical to the Gen 1. And then, okay, form 7, identical to the other form too, but I'm guessing this time, okay, it's also, this, the scream is just always there. And then form 8, there we go, form 101. And I'm guessing the Q-Spec is going to be very, very cool, plus the Z-Spec, I'm guessing, are going to be very, very good. There's also a Tentacion mode, but first of all, I want to test out this mode before we do test out the Tentacion. Every single time I come to one of these guys, it just doesn't work, what, what is going on? Every time I go to them, they just go underneath the ground, they just get absorbed by the ground, let's see. Have to be very very quick. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Oh my god, they're literally like this is where I got the Grease Skull mission, and this is where they spawn. And look at the distance. Hit them with the Q. Q is gonna be of course you have the truth seeking balls. And the Z spec is okay, yeah. This the design of this is a lot more goofy than the other one, I can't lie. Look at how we run with our little legs, man. It's actually so so cool. Look at this. Okay, and so somehow this guy still survived. Hit them with the Q spec. Okay, I hit every single one of them on him and he still survived. Okay, we're just gonna have to just keep on hitting with them our M1s now until one of our moves comes back. Another Q spec, this shot is gonna kill him. Not yet, okay, this Z spec was definitely gonna kill him. Because we hit him with our trampoline, plus we can hit him with the, uh, the beast ball too. There we go, and we can go back to the spawn. Also, we can do the Tentacion mode. Okay, our MD is about to run out, so we're not going to test it out just yet. Alright, our MD is back now, so let's just use our Tentacio mode. We have to be level 2000 to use this mode, then what level is our sub ability? We're so close, man. One more raid, man. Okay, I'll just catch you guys after one raid. Alright, guys, so we finally got it to level 2000, which means we can use our Tentacion mode. Okay, let's just come. Tentacion. Hopefully, it was worth me grinding all the way to 2000 for it, but let's see. Okay, it, it looks very, very similar to our Naruto one that we used to have previously, but it's so, so cool still. Anyways, let me find a green skull mission before this runs out, because they takes 40 MD per tick, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. Okay, there's a green scroll right next to me. Let me just get it quickly. There we go. Okay, hi hiding out. Oh, they're so far away, man. Every single time, you just... I just forget out of how far away this place really is. But yeah, let's check out the Q-Spec. Okay, there's a new Q-Spec here. The Q spec is basically, I think, the Z spec of like the other mode, and then the Z spec. Okay, the Z spec is Rasengan's plus. We spawn in like one of the thingies too. Okay, that's actually really, really cool. The stat boost on the Tatasians, I think, is like the most stat boost I've ever seen in like any bloodline. Literally, it's 3.5 thousand across the board, which is insanity. That's actually really, really cool. So, like, if you have like a really, really good move set where you don't have to use like your bloodline moves, getting a Tentacion would be insane because your stat boost is just way, way too good compared to any other like bloodline these guys are fighting the eight tails we're soon gonna be fighting you bro do not worry the gen 3 eight tails will be seeing each other very very soon all right let's check out our new z spec that we got okay we're gonna spawn in the guy he's gonna attack gonna do a good amount of damage okay attack again bro don't only attack once attack again yo attack again there we go <laughs> He attacked again also, we're gonna spawn in our other one, we have one dead, this guy here is also dead, okay, to be honest, this is probably the best mode out of all of them by a mile, because it actually is useful, but yeah guys, we have finished with the Gen 2 8 tails, moving on to the Gen 3. Alright guys, and time for the last piece of the puzzle, the Nimbus Octopop Spirit, 2% drop rate, it's a 1.5 times boss drop rate day, so we should be able to get it very, very quickly, I'm hoping of course, but as you know, our look is kind of horrendous, but yeah, we're gonna go and go to the Spirit, 
for the current video that I did, I think I had to kill the boss like 150 to 200 times. So that took me like so many hours, like so many hours. So I'm hoping this one does not take that long because I am not wanting to stay here for like 50 hours trying to like basically just kill one boss. All right, guys, and the guy has spawned in. Uh, do you want to fight him? Yes, of course we do. This guy is probably one of the most annoying bosses to fight because of his ability, like the ink move. If he just doesn't use it now, that'd be perfect. Need to hurry up before he uses it. Okay, we have to be very, very careful because that ink move is probably the worst move in the game. He's literally at 1 HP, okay? I think I'll kill him after this. Yes, sir. And of course, first time, but I don't think I've ever got my drop ever first try, man. Our look is horrendous. But anyways, guys, I am just going to keep on killing this guy over and over again until he hopefully, hopefully drops it very, very soon. Oh my god, third kill and we got it. That is actually, that look is fabulous. Oh my god, third, third time the charm and oh my god, like, I expected to stay like fuck so long to do this, but I got it so, so quickly. That is amazing. All right, guys, since we did get the Gen 3 spirit very, very early on, I am very happy to, of course, unlock it. Okay, we got this. We just need to unlock it. We have 10.8 million because we got a bunch of coins from getting the other stuff. This happened. What more, what more did I unlock? Did I unlock another mode that I, that what? Oh my god, we need another 200,000. What just happened? I don't get it. Like, I just, I didn't unlock anything. Alright, I'll get another 200,000 really quickly and yeah, I'll see you guys once we do. Alright, okay, we got another 1 million really quickly. So, okay, we can finally unlock it. For some reason, I don't know why my 500,000 disappeared just like that. But anyways, we've unlocked it and this is by far the best tiled beast. Like, the Q spec is different. This Q spec is insane. And then... They also also have a Z spec. The Z spec is of course going to be a beast ball, but also as we go to mode two and mode three and mode four, we're going to start again E specs, which is amazing because for the first two gens we don't get any E specs, but for the next for this one we get E spec. I think we get an E spec straight after the next mode, which is at level 500, I believe. The mode has only four, I think four forms, and we max out at level 1,500 if I'm not mistaken. So all I'm going to do, guys, now is I'm just going to be doing a few dungeons until we do reach level 1,500. Just so we can use every single one of the modes like consecutively so yeah i'll catch you guys once we do all right guys and after a lot of grinding we finally managed to get our sub ability to level 1500 so we're gonna of course mow it up and yeah this is by far the best like i've tested it out it's so so good let's test out the moves on a log just to see so the q spec q spec is really really good and then of course the z spec is also amazing and then if we go into mode 2 Okay, for the mode 2, we'll actually start hitting for 11.8 thousand, which is very, very OP. And then the E spec. E spec is just like a bunch of beast balls. So, so cool. And then we're just going to have to wait for the Q and Z spec. Our Q spec. Okay, the Q spec is like kind of an ink move, but just an upgraded version, which is so cool. Hits like multiple targets at the same time. And then the Z spec is just a beast ball, but this one is like just an upgraded version of the beast ball. And we've got mode 3. The e spec is actually like a full on combo move, which is so clutch. Like, it's just actually good. It's like very, very good. And then Q spec. Q spec, you have to like aim it. So, if you just aim it downwards, boom, there we go. And then put someone like this here so you can combo him afterwards. It kind of like stuns him, which is really, really cool. And then the Z spec is just the exact same thing. It's just like the beast ball, but it just gets bigger. And then, of course, for the fourth mode, you need to fight the Tentacion, which we're just going to do really, really quickly. So exclamation mark tentacion and we should be able to kill the guy fairly fairly easily he's not that difficult to kill all right let's just mode up really quickly before this guy starts hitting us okay yeah we do not want to be in this combo i can't lie because this guy does so much damage we're just gonna just do this thing here where we swap oh i hit the literally the wrong move that's annoying but yeah we're just gonna keep on doing this yeah we did not this is like the move that is so annoying to play against but this is gonna kill him there we go perfect super super easy and we unlocked our tentacion like less than a minute but yeah form 4 is just so so good we can actually hit with our tailed beast like look at this man so so clean like even the design for everything you can just tell this one is made way way better than every single other one I'd even say form 1 is better than literally gen 1 and gen 2 combined because like, just gen 3 is so much better we're just going to try out in a quick green score mission. And then after that, we're going to go and 1v1 my friend, who's going to be using Gen 2 Tentacion. We're going to be using this to see what truly is the stronger one. All right, let's check out our E-Spec. Okay, E-Spec is just a beast ball. Okay, and then the Z-Spec is a big, big, big beast ball. Okay, that's really, really cool. Q-Spec. 
Okay, Q-Spec is like the combo. It's another new combo. Yeah, this is so, so good. And we're also spawning our beast at the same time. That's actually insane. And then, yeah, Glitchy got absolutely destroyed. Wow. Yeah, this is insane. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in Shindai Valley. All right, and let the fight begin. Okay, this is going to be very, very... I'm very curious to see actually what the result of this is. First of all, let's start off with a combo. Okay, I don't think... Okay, why is my combo not working? Okay, we're getting kind of... um, Kind of just getting trampled with. Okay, another spirit here. Okay, we need... I, don't, I can't even hear him. I don't even know where he's going. Oh my god, okay. What is going on here? Yeah, we need to go back. We need to go to farm 4. What is this? I have to just hit him with some combos. Our cheese just keeps on getting depleted. Is that like one of the abilities for the Tentacion or something? Because that is insane. And some more of these moves. Yeah, these moves are way, way better. Yeah, we do need to just save up our chi here because for some reason, every single time, it just keeps on getting depleted. And with this, is this going to hit? Yep, okay, and we got him in a free, free, free combo. There we go. And then hit him with some more. Then hit him with an e-spec. There we go. Complete, complete combo. All right, now we just have to just slowly walk away like nothing ever happened. Oh, I, I know what's taking all of my chi. Okay, every time he hits me, my chi just literally like depletes. Okay, I'm in another combo. Because I'm pretty sure this guy healed up with some stims, so we have to we have to take out all of his HP. Oh, never mind, this guy was really, really low. And yeah, to be honest, yeah, Gen 3 is just, it, it's just uncomparable with the other ones. I'm literally using Mode 3, which is probably not stronger than Mode 4. And I'm still like able to do that much damage. It's crazy. Yeah, Gen 3 is by far the better tailed beast. 